What's going on, guys? It's your boy Az. We are back. Uh, yeah, we uh, we last time we uh, we were looking at uh, taking the first five up to uh, tier 16 here for the next batch of the global set, and uh, we did not have enough to bring up Maria. But anyways, uh, we brought Sam up 194 tier 16. He looks pretty. He looks pretty BA with the green or teal circle, whatever it's called. Uh, Doom, we brought him up as well. Uh, you guys can see here, 185. Uh, pretty much everything's T4, Max Delt, all that good jazz. Uh, yeah, he's doing good. He's doing good, guys. Um, uh, Sharon, Sharon, she's going to be good. She's fast. Doom's ultimate's going to really make her move. Uh, and then she's got the two controls, uh, the stun and the ability block, which is going to be good crowd control. Emma Frost, uh, I had lots of mutant materials. Uh, she's there for the speed, the blind, the debuff. Uh, yeah, she's uh, she's the whole package, guys. Um, and then last but not least, uh, we got Maria here. Had to bring her up to level 85, uh, and then uh, yeah, we've got her uh, we've got her bumped up now, and we can uh, pretty much get started. So yeah, booyah. Uh, last time I was trying to level them up and get started, and I didn't realize I didn't have enough gold to bring her up, so it took me. Uh, just a little bit of a, a little bit of blitz orbs and some other stuff just to kind of get some gold is uh, is a stretch these days guys all right so that's the five and uh, we'll jump in here so as you guys will see here uh, we did one shot the last node um, we've pretty much done most of the one shots except for node three which was a two shotter because I screwed up and I, I actually I, I probably could have one shot in it but I was dumb uh, anyways, uh, so we're going to jump in this one. Um, I've already gone through it a few times. It wasn't too bad. I, I think for the most part, it's a good, it's a good little intro node, much like node one where it kind of gets you in there. Um, I'm not sure if my correct team configuration is the best, but, uh, what you want to make sure is, uh, sometimes I find that the center characters get targeted more, but yeah, for sure. You want to make sure cap Sam's on the, one of the ends. So when he taunts, he's not going to get any splashing. We'll put Emma there because she's pretty tanky. She's got a barrier when she does her debuff. Uh, and, uh, and of course, uh, yeah, she's uh, just making sure there's no adjacent adjacent abilities uh, that I'm forgetting here. I don't, I don't think so. I don't believe so. But, yeah, it's a pretty straightforward node, I think, for the most part. I think uh, because of the team that we have, we're going to start off. Uh, we have Sam's ultimate, which is going to give us a little bit of a uh, nice little turn. I like I like this one because I think I think they only dropped five at a time or something like that if, if I recall. But it was pretty good. I, I ran it for a few minutes and I realized, wow, we're not going to really need too much practice on this one. Um, this one will be very straightforward. Lots of other people brought in. I think um, if they don't bring Emma Frost, uh, they go with Sabretooth or Wolverine, which is a pretty solid choice as well. They're good DPS. Uh, they're on the Weapon X team. Uh, uh, they're not a bad choice at all. So. Overall, I'd say if you guys have the if you guys don't have the resources for Emma Frost, go for one of the low key ones. But I feel like Emma Frost is good because I also use her in the arena, and I use her in Crucible offense as well. So I feel like she you get some good value out of her. So disruption on uh, Taskmaster I think is big because he just loves to rip off buffs. So I think that's gonna help a lot. So we're gonna throw the little um, you know slows down um this is nice I, I think a lot of people decide that the secret avengers are too expensive but i find that having all three of them uh, you get that maximum efficiency of synergy as well as the fact that we also use these guys in doom raids so i mean all these characters we use in doom raids uh, yes even emma frost i use her in the mutant notes but yeah they're very good uh bringing them up to tier 16 really helps i think because it's going to help increase our efficiency to one shot those doom raids and I don't really know if there's too much strategy for the first bit here because they're just going to drop another five. Uh, let me look here on uh, who the heck the five are. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, yeah, it's weird little mismatch team. I think it's like a mix of uh, more uh, Wakanda, uh, sorry, not Wakandans, um, uh, Asgardians with, it uh, looks like there's going to be more mercenaries as well. Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird little mix up team, but it's nice because uh, they do drop them slowly and it's not like a, 10 minion drop or something like that like in dark dimension 3 and 4 they had some pretty crazy drops but yeah it's pretty it's pretty straightforward i mean sif uh sif uh heimdall and all these guys are pretty um yeah we'll see we'll see if the rework is actually coming and if, if it actually gives them some benefit uh but yeah i mean let's uh let's see how it goes i mean for sure i think 
uh, you know, it's a pretty straightforward node. Um, I can see why people went with Sabretooth or Wolverine, because it's very straightforward. If you have Doom and and uh, Captain Sam, uh, and then maybe either Emma or, or or maybe Sharon as well, like it just it just it's a lot of control. You have blinds, you got stuns, you got ability blocks. Like it's pretty nice. It's pretty good. Um, disruption on Sif is good, so that way if she taunts, uh, it's not going to get in the way of anything. Um, shouldn't be an issue anyways. I mean, we have we have a lot of ways to remove buffs. Uh, Sam's basic will remove it. Emma Frost's basic will remove it. Doom will remove it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's lots of uh, lots of key characters here. I think the important thing is just taking your time with this one. Um, yeah, we'll do the ability block on on Ronin. Yeah, so we'll do some heals here. Boom. Yeah, very, uh, very straightforward. We're gonna, we're gonna speed some footage up here, so you guys don't have to see the full extent of the speed on this. But uh, I think you get the gist. Uh, land the vulnerabilities on who you can. Um, we're blocking Ronin in because he's got the, uh, the ability block. Same with Zemo. We're taking them out first, uh, and then yeah, just remember too that Kree Noble. Can also remove debuffs as well so keep an eye on him uh for the most part though pretty straightforward we should have another big wave of asgardians with mercenaries dropping as well after i think it's down to like two or three probably i think three if my memory is working but yeah just make sure you guys take care of zemo so that way he's not doing that ability block and the rebounds um yeah, we'll do the slow down for the... Uh, yeah, Emma's really nice. I like her because she brings so much uh, control, uh, debuff removal, speed control. She's got the blind as well. Uh, maybe I was wrong, actually. Maybe it's down to one. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, my memory was not working. I think it was another wave. It was like three. But yeah, that's nice. Nice because just take these guys down as low as you can get. I think when one of them dies, it's going to trigger the drop, but... Can't say for certainty until that happens, but uh, we'll re uh, we'll re fix the speed here once uh, that wave drops. I think it should be pretty. Yeah, so you'll get a weird little mercenaries mix. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about Taskmaster. So we're gonna throw the blind on him. Uh, I know some of his abilities avoid the blind, but that's fine. We have the Doom Ultimate as well. Never be afraid to use it because these guys have a lot of health. So do the uh, the disruption on whoever you think is worthy and uh and then smash actually i should have uh, i actually should have disrupted taskmaster as well but i th i can see uh that's fine he's still blinded um not a lot of yeah yeah as long as you get the disruption on the taunters so the the securities uh, that's probably the most important thing mobility block him so that way he can't taunt and really look at that we got that wonderful speed boost again from captain sam he makes this easy. I think it'd be it would be a very um, it, it'd take a little longer probably, but with Sam and and uh, all the other control we have with Emma Frost and Sharon, it's just there's so much control on the board here. Uh, even Maria's minions with the Shield Troopers, they offer a little bit of that speed reduction as well when she uh, activates her special. And uh, I like to just use their basic so that way they have that potential to crit, and then they can bring the turn meter down if it's uh it's a turn based game so the more turns we can get the better we'll use the taunt there to protect our allies and uh yeah i think um yeah i think i don't know if i need to i don't know if i need to harp on too much more on this but yeah this one's more just taking your time with it i think this was my second or third attempt uh not because i couldn't do it but because uh i uh once i started doing it i realized uh, that uh, wasn't really RNG based like the other we did the city nodes and you had to basically wait for these guys to all pummel you down and make sure that none of the team members died but this one's pretty controllable because we do have Captain Sam uh, he's amazing he controls the board quite well for us and he gets the party started with that crazy ultimate of his giving everybody that massive speed boost and then of course Doom as well giving three turns to a potential ally um in this case it's sharon because i think it gets the fastest it's the fastest ally i could be wrong I, I, yeah anyways we'll get the last drop which is the um i don't even remember what number that was i think it was just four minions five minions left but uh basically it's a cree it's a it's your last uh it's a cree based whatever hoo-ha um 
So we're going to do the blind there just because it's going to bounce off because it's going to kill off uh, whoever else and uh, yeah, get use of it. I always like to do that. It just helps finish off the, uh, the remaining health of the whoever's on the board. But we'll most likely speed this up once uh, it's down to a couple guys. But yeah, the Ronins are probably the hardest part uh, once you take care of Taskmaster uh, just because they got that ability block and... Uh, yeah, if they landed on Emma Frost, then she can't remove it, and that might that might just slow you down. But yeah, I mean these Kree guys aren't, you know, they're not they're not the juiciest uh, stat characters. But of course, Dark Dimension Five does make these guys uh, quite beefy. So of course, you know, uh, we got to be careful. We can't get cocky here. Um, uh, it would be nice too if you had like Sabretooth or Wolverine. Uh, they would crit lots, and especially when characters are grouped like this, uh, you would get Sabretooth or uh, Wolverine just bouncing off all these guys like crazy. So, so you can see why I was stunning and ability blocking Ronin earlier. It's just these minions can do quite a bit of damage, especially with the chunk of them on the board. Um, that's okay though. We're going to use that ultimate. It's going to squish a lot of them. That's going to help us out lots. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think for the most part, I think you guys get it. I think, uh, just control, control the nasties. Um, do the disruptions. Our board's full, so we'll just use the special morph because it lands the defense down. But yeah, like you guys see here, it just lands a whole bunch of hits from the troopers, which is great. It's great for us. Uh, we don't want to target. Uh, I think next note, I, I am seeing that we are controlling the board quite well here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my Emma Frost to her a Skirmisher. That's what I did before in the uh, Dark Dimension 4. So I think I'm going to do the same thing here. I, I forgot to do that as I realized this while I'm recording. I'm like, oh... Hey, it would be nice. Uh, she's a healer right now, but it would be nice to get that extra little vulnerability on the board. Because uh, with Doom being a striker and Sharon as well, um, they do eat up the, the vulnerabilities quite fast. So it's nice. I mean, uh, we do have Cap Sam laying them on the board. But yeah, it'd be nice if we got twice the power. Twice the, uh, you know, the potency to land it. So that way, everybody's got them. We got those extra little boosts of hits. And it probably helps speed up, actually, the damage as well especially with the second no we don't really know what's gonna be waiting for us on the next one but i i have seen footage and uh it does uh, it's it's quite a bit uh, more difficult than this one so look he gets that ability block off but uh it doesn't really do much it tickles us i guess it tickles some of our of our troopers i guess but uh they got the death pool the death proof which is nice so we'll do the ultimate the special i don't want to use the uh the ultimate just yet there i think i think we got to be careful here just to save it just because we uh we don't want to screw ourselves up with cooldowns for the next node uh, the reason why it's such a hard node is i was going through it and uh yeah there is quite a bit of um there's a lot of firepower on that node where i, I don't know if captain sam's gonna be able to take a lot of the hits because there's some beefy beefy characters but uh hopefully we'll get a look at it after the last one's funny too node what is it? Node, uh, we're doing seven right now. So node nine, uh, there's a uh, doom and there's two Mr. Sinisters. So I think that one people were having issues with as well. But yeah, we're going to speed this up because I think you guys get the gist of it. Uh, pretty much done here. Yeah, just, just save your cooldowns. I think that's probably the most important thing about this node because you're setting up for node five. And uh, yeah, like I said, node five's got some nasties. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to remember here. Uh, yeah, Silver Surfer was one of the bad ones on that node. And then, of course, they're going to give us a little bit of PTSD with Black Panther, uh, who's been reworked. And then Miss Marvel and Squirrel Girl are also on that. So if you guys if you guys don't recall, uh, there were some specific nodes in Dark Dimension 3 and 4 that had that combo with the Miss Marvel and Black Panther. And, and now they have Silver Surfer in there as well. So yeah, it's going to be... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a pretty bad node but as you guys see here uh we'll have to try run it trial run it and see how it is but that's it guys that is node seven uh one shot for you guys uh i don't i don't think you guys will have too many issues with four or not four uh, with seven uh i think i think it'll be the next one i think may might have to be a two-shotter depending on how the rng rolls but uh i'm glad i'm glad we got all the cooldowns and everything ready to go for the next and uh next node uh like i said i think miss marvel squirrel girl silver surfer i think magneto's in there too yeah there's some there's some crazy bad ones on there but we'll get through it we got cap sam we got maria we got sharon we got doom and we got uh emma frost so they should be pretty good i think for this uh for this game mode all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one